Time to play with some clay. gonna I'm gonna take again yeah can't talk I'm gonna take an existing uh, sculpture I started probably 10 years ago and I started it in wax and then I put a thin layer of clay on it and this clay is almost solid that's because it was a thin layer on top of the wax layer and because of that, uh, the clay, um, well, it just lost its oils. I'm not going to be able to use this head. I don't want to do an exact reproduction of this mountain, man. I want to do something different. And uh, I think I'm going to try... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Just bear with me. I still have to make a reservoir for uh, foam. And I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that because he's stepping up on a uh, rock, of course. Again, it's 9.15 in the evening, so I'm not gonna do a lot today. But uh, I just wanted to get something started. It's been a busy day today. Oh yeah, much warmer. Mm, I don't know if I like it. figure out how I'm going to have that rifle across his back. Looks proportional. So let's see. Yeah, yeah. So I want to go down one and a half heads to the uh, elbow, which would be right there. The elbow would come to the bottom of the rib cage, and that's about where it is. And then it's just a maybe a little bit more than a head length long for the wrist to the wrist. This is my bailing wire that I bent, or not bent, but. Uh, twisted together. It makes it nice and strong. It makes a great armature. <sighs> that doesn't look too bad right there. If I have it out here, it'll add to the cost. If I have it leaning against his arm and laying against his leg. Does the 
pose makes sense. That's what I'm trying to figure out. It kind of does. Don't want to cut myself. here and the other one his hand up here that works out yeah I like it I like it <laughs> oh boy and I'll bring this arm up. That's the beauty of these wire armatures is that uh, they have a tendency to bend easier than a, even aluminum wire because aluminum wire will not bend exactly where you want it to. You have to keep playing with it. Okay. I like that. Maybe have more of an angle. See, I want to pour a uh, foam down inside there that will cover that uh, square rock. <laughs> and then it's up to me to sculpt it to make it look like a rock. devised this method years ago to uh, pour foam and uh, I use it on several of my pieces after all. The key is to keep the foam inside the reservoir and not have it flowing out of the damn reservoir onto the table and on me and everything else. See what I'm doing. I'm building a sleeve around the rock. Hmm. Gonna have to join that up somehow. There we go. And I'll have to go back and add tape to it to keep. The foam coming out onto me. Alright, this is the A component of my uh, urethane foam. Uh, foam? <laughs> foam. And this is the B. I can't remember which one's the really bad one to be working with because it's when it hardens, I mean, it gets exposed to the air. It's a, it gets like glue and hardens up a little bit. I'm going to put 
put uh, some rubber gloves on because I don't want to get this stuff on my hands. That's why I'm wearing my cutoffs because I don't want to get it on my pants because if I get it on the pants, it'll never come out. I've got shirts that I wore when I did that memorial 20 years ago, or eight, 19 years ago, and uh, they still have foam in the shirt. So you don't want to wear your best clothes when you do this sort of thing. I'm going to put my gloves there. I got uh, forks to mix the uh, foam up with. Good. Now see the ri ridges inside the cup? I can uh, bring the uh, foam up to, or the mixture up to, up to the top of the first level. You could weigh this if you wanted to, but I don't want to. And I want to make sure there's no residue on that where the lid goes because then the lid won't come off the next time. This is the one you really have to clean that area where the lid goes on. You don't want to have any of that residue on there because you'll never get the lid off again. That's the A component. Okay. I just mix up. up here. I'm going to tear off a few just in case I spring leaks. kind of doubt I will, but you just never know. Okay. Now what you do is you stir it. Turn creamy and about the time it starts getting warm on your hand, uh, it's uh, getting ready to harden up. You see why I'm wearing rubber gloves. I don't take no chances. Like I said, it'll be on your fingers for weeks. And I literally mean weeks. It's looking pretty good right now. I have a little too much. But better to have a little too much than not enough. I'm always thinking. I want it to kind of come up and over the, uh, the wood. Okay, it's starting to get warm. Okay, it's rising up already. I got a little foam coming out of the bottom here. Let's see if I got any other leaks. Nope, just that one spot. 
You can see the foam coming up now. I can't see if I let me see if I can show you. Okay. Okay, I may have gotten too much in there. <laughs> Put this uh, paper towels around so if it does start coming out of the top, at least it'll come down on the paper towels, not my sculpting stand. Well, that's the uh, idea anyway. The key is not to get nervous or anxious or do stupid things. Just be patient. It'll all work out. Always good to have some paper towels around. Yeah, that came out. That came out pretty good. All right. I'm going to let this sit overnight. It won't take long to harden. I, don't, I could probably start carving in five minutes, but I don't want to do that. I want to wait till I can do this when I'm not quite so sleepy. Right now I'm ready to go to bed. So I'll pick this video up tomorrow. Boy, that really rose up fast. I did a good job of mixing that. Okay. This using foam it just it just saves you a lot of clay. You don't have to uh, use quite as much clay. Yeah, see, I can already touch it. It's still soft and t a little tacky, but uh, it's uh, just about hard now. All right, I'm going to pick this up tomorrow, and I'll see you guys then. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.